Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Raven. Today we're going to be haltering Raven for the very first time. If you're new to the channel, Raven is a wild mustang that I recently adopted. We started the gentling process using positive reinforcement. Raven's fear was eventually replaced with curiosity and I was recently able to remove her neck tag. The neck tag is something that is placed on each mustang by the Bureau of Land Management after each horse is removed from their wild. The BLM also gives Mustangs a freeze brand, which can be found on the left side of the horse's neck. The tag has the last four digits of this freeze brand. Removing the neck tag is one of the first big milestones when training a wild Mustang. Haltering is another big one, and we're going to be working on that today. We've had a bit of a training gap since her last session, which was three weeks ago. In that session, we removed the tag, and now, three weeks later, we're doing the next session. If you're wondering why there's a gap, I have a backstory to the Raven series, so definitely check that video out if you have questions. You can see that her coat has already started to become bleached by the sun, and her mane is really pretty. I absolutely love the highlights and the little wave that she's got going on. So right now we're going back to some positive reinforcement here. We're doing some basic targeting, but this time I've added the halter. Today is her first time interacting with the halter, and again, I'm just holding it as I'm asking her to target. If you're new here, something that I've been doing lately is using positive reinforcement for the early stages of the gentling process, basically up into the point where the horse is haltered. And then I switch over to negative reinforcement. And just to clarify, the terms positive and negative do not mean good or bad. Both are considered reinforcers of behavior, so they encourage a behavior to happen. Think about them in math terms. Positive means that something is added to reinforce a behavior. So here I'm giving a food reward. Negative reinforcement means that something was subtract, something was removed to reinforce a behavior. So think about the release of pressure. Say when you give your horse a squeeze to go, you release the pressure when they do the correct thing. That is considered negative reinforcement. I've now moved behind the fence in protected contact, and I'm going to be introducing some new target points. To be able to put the halter on, I'll have to be able to touch her jaw, forehead, and ears. So I'm now introducing them. Right now I'm introducing targeting the ears for the first time. Here I'm ignoring any other contact she might make, except when she touches me with that ear, and then I'll quickly reward it. The bridge sound, deep lets her know that she's done the correct thing and a reward is coming. Can I have your ear? Ear? Sometimes it can take a while before she does the desired action. Right now she doesn't know what I'm asking for. My hand is kind of giving her a cue to where I want her to target. And as she starts touching me with her ear and as she's being rewarded, she'll start understanding what I'm looking for. Have your ear? Deep. Have your ear? Oops. I liked how she leaned into that one. Have your ear? Deep. You can see it's not super precise right now, but it's a starting point. When doing positive reinforcement, it's generally recommended to do short sessions and take lots of little breaks. Halter? After a short break, I brought the halter back out. You halter. Halter. Deep. If you're watching this and thinking this looks like Hocus Pocus, well, to be honest, I don't blame you because I would have thought that too before I had Mustangs. Before Mustangs, you Alter. would have never caught me using food for training, or really even giving treats at all. Deep. Having Mustangs has certainly made me a lot more open-minded. I mean, you kind of have to be when working with Mustangs. Halter. Deep. After practicing this for a bit, we added a countdown. Alter. Three, two, one, deep. That was good. Alter. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, deep. I'm initially counting pretty fast in an effort to help her be successful. Alter. I don't want to set the bar too high at first. Three, two, one, deep. We took another mini break and then resumed training. Falter. Halter. Three. Halter. Three. Three, two, one, deep. This is our third session today. I personally like starting with positive reinforcement because it's less stressful. Halter. It's really helpful to earn the trust of a fearful Mustang. 
And having the horse engage in the haltering process is really helpful for the following sessions because you do have to be able to get into the pen and catch your horse every day that you go to work with it. So I just think it makes it a little bit easier, but I have nothing against starting with other methods. Actually, I probably will go back to not using positive reinforcement sometime in the future. I really do want to develop my skills in that area as well. So I'm really open to a variety of methods, but this Ready? is what I'm using right now. Halter. Four, three, two, one, D. We then moved on to moving the crown piece up over her forehead. Five, four, three, two, one, D. That can be pretty scary initially, but she did a great job. When I'm doing this for the first time, I like to use an oversized halter. It just helps me to be able to get it up on a little bit easier, and it's going to be loose the first time I tie it, and then I'll slowly work on tightening it. It's also easier to switch out the halter once you already have one on. Five, four, three, two, one, eight. Here, I was preparing her for moving the halter up over her ears. I was able to get the halter up over her ears and decided to go for putting the whole thing on. She surprisingly didn't react when I lost part of the halter, but I just went Ready? with the flow and continued from there. Halter. Five, four, three. Oops. Five, four, three, two, one. Eight. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Once the halter's on, then I can make some readjustments and start working on tightening the halter. Ready? Okay, jaw. I ask for her jaw, and even though she doesn't five, give it to me four, perfectly, it just lets her know five, that I'm four, going to be three, working two, in that one, general six. area. As we refine the cues and the targeting points, this will get a lot easier, and it's really helpful to have the horse wow. working with you. Ready? Her jaw. Five, five four, three, two, one, eight. She has already come such a long way since unloading from that trailer, and just a reminder, she has a whole playlist of videos, so check it out if you haven't already. Also, just a quick note because I haven't yet done it, but that loose rope on the end can and should be tucked behind the halter so it's not sticking out and able to poke her. Hey guys, I just got the halter on. I'm going to see what I can get done today, but I'm hoping she'll be leading by the end of this session, even if not perfectly. She's doing really well, so we're going to get started right now. I'm also trying to do this before the storm rolls in. Right now I can hear some thunder in the distance and I'm not sure if it will pass over us. I didn't see it in the forecast, so hopefully it won't be here. Let's get to work. So we actually went on to have the biggest training day that I've ever had, but I'll share that story next time. Thanks for watching.